to our part two video, how to calculate percentage. If you haven't watched the part one video about percentage and converting them to fraction and decimal number, please do so, so you have a complete understanding. So, what are you waiting for? Let's go! Start our fun learning journey with Big Amateur Rascals team. In part one video, we learn about how converting percentage to fraction and decimal number. Now, let's learn about how to calculate percentage from a number. Let's go shopping! Our first destination is the Chocolate Hut. Let's go and have some fun. It's sale time. Chocolate Hut is having a sale time at the moment. So, let's buy some chocolate. Yum! We want to buy this one box of yummy chocolate. It costs $10. But, as we are having sale at the moment, it says 20% off. So, what does it mean? It means that we don't need to pay full price of $10 for the chocolate as we get discount of 20% from the full price. So we need to take out 20% of the full price and pay for the balance. How to calculate how much we need to pay? Let's dive in. First, let's calculate 20% of $10. 20% in fraction is 20 out of 100. So, we need to calculate 20 out of 100 times $10. To make things simpler, we need to cross out the same zeros from top and bottom numbers. After crossing out all the zeros from top and bottom numbers, it leaves us $2. So, 20% of $10 is $2. Means that the discount is $2. So, how much we need to pay? $10 deducted by $2 called to $8. So, after discount, we need to pay $8. In another way, we only pay 100% minus 20% equals to 80% of the full price. We pay $8 for the chocolate box and $8 is 80% of $10 full price. We don't have to pay the whole 100% because we receive 20% discount. Got it? Well done! Now, let's go back to our map and what will be our next destination. Hmm, the boutique shop. Yay, our next destination is the boutique shop. Let's go. Fantastic boutique shop is advertising. Everything is 40% off. Wow, awesome. This is exactly what we need. Let's go into the boutique shop. Let's buy some awesome clothes. One there at the front is a very fancy shirt. Let's check out the price. $50 for the shirt? Oh gee, that's quite expensive. Hang on, we have 40% off. 40% discount. So, how much we need to pay after the discount? Let's calculate together. 40% discount. Let's first convert this to fraction. Don't forget to see our part 1 video about converting percentage to fraction if you haven't done so. Fraction form is 40 out of 100. 40 out of 100 times $50. First, like previously, let's cross out all the zeros from top and bottom. It leaves us with 4 times $5, which is equals to $20. So means 
dollars is the discount value. Forty percent from fifty dollars is twenty dollars. Not bad, right? So after discount, we need to pay fifty dollars deducted by twenty dollars equals to thirty dollars. So after forty percent discount, we need to pay thirty dollars for the fantastic shirt. Yay! It's a great discount. Great work, everyone. Well done. Now, quickly, let's try another way to calculate this. To pay a whole full price of fifty dollars without any discount is one hundred percent. But as the shop advertised, forty percent off. So actually, we only need to pay sixty percent of the price. One hundred percent deducted by forty percent equals to sixty percent. So if we calculate sixty percent out of fifty dollars, that means that's the total cost we need to pay to the shop. Sixty out of one hundred times fifty dollars. After we cross out all the zeros, it leaves us six times five dollars equals to thirty dollars. So it's the same result. It's thirty dollars in total that we need to pay for the lovely shirt. Excellent, everyone. Good job. Now let's continue. After we went for shopping, now we are getting hungry. Let's check out our map. Next, let's visit Big and Little Rascals Cafe. Yay! I would like to have a strawberry milkshake and a piece of cupcake. Yummy! Let's order them. After eating, the cafe owner says, "Since we are their loyal cafe customer, she is giving us twenty-five percent discount from the bill. Fantastic! I see the total bill is twenty dollars. So twenty-five percent off from twenty dollars is twenty-five out of one hundred times." Twenty dollars. Cross out the same zeros. Then what we left here is twenty-five times two, which is equals to fifty. And the bottom number left is ten. Let's cross the same zeros from top and bottom, and it leaves us with five dollars. So how much we need to pay the cafe owners after? Twenty-five percent discount is twenty dollars deducted by five dollars is fifteen dollars. Yay! We are saving some money. Hope now you have a better understanding about how to calculate percentage from a number. Now it's our quiz time, everybody. Let's get ready for our quiz. Maya is at her favorite shoe shop, Super Me Shoe Shop. The shop is selling super magical shoes, and they are fantastic. Maya really likes these two pairs of shoes. First, icy shoes, priced at thirty-five dollars for one pair. And next, it's fiery shoes, priced at. Forty-five dollars for one pair, and the shop is having a promotion. If you buy one pair, the shop will give you ten percent discount. But if you buy two pairs of shoes, the shop will give you twenty-five percent discount. Maya only has sixty-five dollars in her wallet, so can you please help Maya to calculate if her money is enough? To buy two pairs of her dream shoes, or she can only afford to buy one pair of shoes. And how much in the end Maya has to pay after the discount? Ready? Let's start, everyone. 
Have you got your answer now? Please feel free to freeze this video so you can take your time to calculate this. Okay, now everybody, let's work on it together. First, let's calculate if price of two pairs of shoes after discount is less than $65, the money that Maya has. $35 plus $45 equals to $80. And when Maya buys two pairs of shoes, the shop will give 25% discount. So next, let's calculate the discount. 25% is 25 out of 100. And we times this with $80, which is equal to $20. So the total cost that Maya needs to pay if she buys two pairs of shoes is $80 deducted by $20 equals to $60. And because $60 is less than $65, so Maya's money is enough to buy two pairs of shoes that she dreams of. Hooray! The total money she needs to pay the shoe shop is $60 for two pairs of amazing shoes. Great work everyone! Hope you enjoy these fun learning videos together with us, Big and Little Rascals. And you have learned how to calculate percentage from a number. Keep practicing everyone. Practice makes perfect. Please subscribe so you get the latest videos updates from us. And keep learning with us in fun ways. And also don't forget to check out our other